I'd like you to lie down on the floor with your knees bent and your feet on the floor in constructive rest. And of course, this could be in your bed or on the couch. So getting into constructive rest with your knees bent and your feet on the floor or the bed or the couch. And taking a couple of sighing breaths. <sighs> really let the sound come in the back of the throat. Another breath in, in the belly, of course. And then sighing, exhaling out. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Nice big belly breath, letting the belly get even bigger this time. And exhale and sigh it out. Ah. All right. And then bringing your attention to the back of your body, feeling the back of your body on the floor or the soft surface that you're on. Really connecting into the places and the bottoms of your feet where your feet and that surface are connected. What is the texture? Is it a hard floor? Hopefully not, right? Is it, do you feel a sheet underneath you or a carpet or a rug or a towel or a yoga mat? What is the texture underneath your feet? Hmm. And then bringing your attention to your buttocks and your back and the places where your buttocks and your back are touching the floor. And can you sink the back of your body a little heavier into that space, making that connection a little deeper? Mm -hmm. And then bringing your attention to the back of your head and the back of your arms or hands, whatever else is touching the floor or the soft surface. And sometimes, you know, just checking in, like, does your, does your neck want your head to have a little bit of support and give yourself permission to slide a little pillow or a blanket or something underneath your head for support? That's totally fine. And then bringing your attention to the back of your head and letting the back of your head now get heavier into that cushion or the floor, whatever's comfortable for your body. Shoulders heavy, shoulder blades heavy like they're made of iron sinking into the earth. And then just doing a whole scan all the way back down to your feet, touching the earth and this surface and what that texture is and the buttocks and the, the back, the back of the head and the back of the arms or shoulders. Seeing if you can let those parts get a little heavier, all together heavier. So we're gonna take a breath into the belly, nice breath in. And then as you sigh and exhale, all the parts, ah, all the parts together get heavier, feet and head and buttocks and back. And feel how this bed or couch or floor is just holding you, right? It's just holding you. And so you don't have to hold anything at all. And now bring your attention all the way down into your buttocks and to your sacrum. Sacrum means sacred. It's the sacred bone at the bottom of the spine, your sacrum. It's the bottom, it's the big triangular shaped plate that hangs off the bottom of your lumbar spine, off your low back. And I want you to, just bringing your attention there at the base of the sacrum, notice if that's a place that you resist, right? Do you resist being there or paying attention to it because maybe it's a, a pl an area r right around where you experience a lot of pain and discomfort in your body. And so just saying hello, kind of just paying attention to this area and saying hello. Kind of being welcoming a little bit to this area. 
It's bringing your attention right to the sacrum, to that bone hanging off the bottom of your spine. It's now kind of resting on the floor. And the top, the two sides of the pelvis come together there and that sacrum rests in between. So can you soften the sacrum a little more in toward the earth, toward the floor, maybe rocking through it a little bit, a tilt and a tuck of the pelvis, rolling through a tilt and a tuck of the pelvis, just gently moving. And then letting your pelvis come to rest and feeling that, that place a little more sweetly, right? That sacrum area. And I'd like you to bring your attention now around the sacrum into the space around your pelvis. So beginning with that focused attention on the sacrum itself and then now expanding the awareness outward, outside of your body, around the sacrum. And feeling what that shift does, how does that feel in your body? Again, bringing your attention just around the space around your pelvis, even through the floor, kind of in a circle, big circle, maybe starting just right outside your body. And then can you, can you grow that attention a little bigger? Mm -hmm. Expanding your attention into just kind of the energetic space around your sacrum. Notice that your breath is probably very naturally in your belly without any effort at all. As you relax your body and focus on other parts mindfully, notice the breath will just more naturally kind of drop into the belly. So it's taking a couple more breaths here. Just naturally breathing, no effort. Attention wide around the sacrum and the space around your sacrum. And offering a little gratitude for this bone right here. It's the anchor of the spine. And it's the big shift in weight where we go from one line of center of gravity in the torso and the upper body to two going down, dividing to two legs. So it's a huge um, pivot place in the body, this sacral bone. And it holds so much of our shifting patterns in our bodies and our minds. Just being right here like, wow, sacrum. Mm -hmm. and breathing here and then really expanding your attention outward in all directions around that sacrum and then softening your attention back into the sacrum itself. And we're gonna expand the awareness one more time outside around the sacrum and in the space around your body. And then back to the sacrum itself. Hmm. Thank you, sacrum. Thank you, thank you, body. Let your breath start to get a little bigger and fuller. I'll sigh. As you continue breathing a little bigger, widen your feet so they're pretty wide away from each other, wider than a yoga mat, perhaps. And then just slowly rocking windshield wipers side to side. We're going to do that for almost a minute, just rocking the knees slowly side to side, both of them going to the right and to center and then both of them going to the left. And then to center, notice how you now are rocking side to side on that sacrum. And as you roll through the sacrum, this honoring like, wow, such a big shift in weight happens right here the anchor of the spine, the anchor point of all the nervous system right here in this beautiful bone shaped like a triangle, the sacred bone. You're just rocking side to side on it. 
as your knees drop slowly from side to side in what I affectionately call windshield wipers. One of my favorite movements. And then completing that wherever side you're going to, bringing the knees back up to center and perhaps draw the knees in towards the chest or I find it more comfortable to draw my knees toward my armpits so that I'm not crushed up. But if you, um, if you feel good curling up in a ball like that on your back, go for it. My spine doesn't really like it for me to be that curled up on my back. And then letting your feet come back down to the floor and roll to one side, right or left, whatever feels right for your body. Your body will just do it. It doesn't have to think, you don't have to think about anything. And now curl up real tightly in a ball. We're going to reset some tension in the psoas by curling up in this way. Just curling, curling, curling in a ball as tight as you can. In yoga, this is called Hiranya Garbhanasana. This is the the cosmic embryo and in here we're we're our own seed we are our own seed in this position we curl up now the belly breaths get transferred outward into the back and kind of soothe and soften the back with the breath because if we're in a tight ball the thighs are compressing against the belly and just for a moment See in your mind, as you're curled up and you're this cosmic seed, see in your mind the life you desire. What does it look like when your life is in balance? What pain is no longer there? Physical, mental, emotional, what pain is no longer there? See that. Just see that gone. What could it look like? Remind your nervous system and your body that it can be without pain that it can be, reminded it can be, that the heart can be soft and pliable again. I see it true. And take a couple of breaths there, reminding your soul and your heart and your brain and your physical body. And kind of feel, can you feel it in your body? Like, oh, that's going to be so good. That's going to be so good, right? And so how good would that feel to be free? And what does that free, you know, what does that freedom mean to you right now in this moment, right? Free. See the smile on your face, like, oh yeah, crushing it now. <laughs> and see that true. Mm -hmm. Smiling, breathing. And then as you're ready, just start to unfurl that seed. So you start to kind of open up and become the sprout. And then I want you to uh, birth yourself through the earth and come up and find a comfortable seat. That seed bursting through the earth. Hiranya Garbhanasana, the cosmic embryo. Mm, so good, right? And as you come up and find a comfortable seat, kneeling or sitting in a chair or sitting on the couch or the side of the bed or cross-legged, whatever works for your body, that comfortable seat. And just bringing one hand to your heart and finding your heartbeat and one hand to your belly, finding your belly. Offering tenderness into your heart and feeling the breath in your belly. And pausing for a moment in appreciation for, for the ability to practice, for the ability to go and do some healing and some care for yourself. Give yourself an internal high five for showing up for your own self. Good job. Good job.